Hey, Matt here from Roof Racks Galore. I'm down here with Braden today. He's one of our seasoned veteran fitters, been with us for over 15 years, so just a wealth of knowledge right there. Uh, you can see we've got the Rhino Rack 5 Series platform and their new 6 Series, and uh, Braden's going to run us through the major differences. So, what can you tell us, Braden? What's the big differences between the 5 and the 6? Oh, well, Matt, differences are the front of the platform was much thinner. Due to that, Rhino is saying that it's going to be 60% less drag in the wind. With that, you'll also make sure it's a much quieter rack when you're driving down the road. Yeah, the wow. last thing you want to hear is all that wind noise. Absolutely, that is not what I want to listen to. I want more, Britney Spears. More Britney Spears? <laughs> Everyone loves more Britney Spears. <laughs> the underside of the platform, they've also included these wind deflectors, which will also help reduce that noise a lot more as well. They've also put it in the front of the top of the platform. The biggest goal is to make this rack quiet while you're driving on your holiday. Other key features are the access channels. As you can see, the 6 Series doesn't have any openings like the 5 Series. Oh, the, these openings here you're talking about? Those openings there. Right. Why, why did they get rid of them on the 6 Series? So the, the biggest benefit? problem with that was that you wanted to fit your awning and sometimes you needed to put it right where those access channels were. Oh, and yes. by doing that, they give you more access to the whole channel. I can see where that would be a problem. What, what else can you tell me about it, Brady? Are there any other big differences other than those two things you've touched on? This platform here in the 6 Series is 20% lighter than the old 5 Series. Wow. So That's... because of that, we can carry more without Ooh. having to worry about going over our load, load, load ratings. Right, yeah, that me. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's really good for those people who have a really tight load rating to stick to. Yeah, that's usually the issue we run into a lot, isn't it? Is people reaching their load limits really quickly when they Certainly. have a platform on their roof. Some cars, unfortunately, just have that slight, slightly difference, and this will make all the difference, being 20% yeah, wow. lighter. Yeah, that's massive. The other good thing that Rhino have done is that this coating is their strongest coating yet, so it's going to take a lot more beating before it marks up and scratches and gets dents and stuff. Wow. So it's a strong, good, reinforced coating. Nice. That's yeah. Keep that nice black colour for as long as possible. That's, oh, yeah, that's what definitely. Like to see. So you were mentioning the, um, the channel being removed before. How do, I, how do I fit my accessories now? Because before I had to slide the T-bolt into this opening, with that gone, how do I now mount my accessories? Yeah, well, Rhino have introduced a new drop and turn system that they call their Zwift locks. Right. So all their accessories now, you can drop them into the channel wherever you like, and then you can just turn them, do them up, and they lock into place, and away you go for your adventures. Wow, that's, that's really handy. Because, yeah, I remember a, a big issue before is if you had multiple accessories already, and you wanted to add another one, you would have to remove that accessory to, to add the new one. That's all gone now, is it? Yeah, that's all gone now, because the biggest pain, you've got an awning on the side of your rack and you want to put some eye bolts in, you would have had to remove that awning. But now, you can drop your eye bolt in, turn it away, lock it in, and your awning doesn't have to come off at oh, all. Oh man, that's awesome. That's really awesome. With the access channels too, as you can see here, they've also included them in between each slack. So that means you can drop your eye bolts in between each plank now, which allows you to tie down things a lot more easier for yourself and not have to take up more of your platform. Wow, that's really clever, isn't it? Because, yeah, these were kind of just a, a blank space before, so that's really cool that they've integrated that. Are there any, uh, any other standout features you can, you can walk me through? The wi integrated wiring system that they had in the 5 Series has been greatly improved. Oh, wow, that just clicks off. Just clicks off, and that'll give wow. you easier access down to run your cabling. Absolutely. Instead of having to undrew it all. Yeah, it's a really good thing. This fire series, you had to unbolt all of this to get that out, didn't you? Definitely did. Had to unbolt it all, run your wires. Now you just pop that corner cap off, run your wires down, and away you go. Oh man, what a time saver. That's that's massive. Oh, well, thanks heaps for coming down today, Braden. This has been super informative. I've learned a great deal about the new six series. I can definitely understand why it exists uh, and why they've gone that road. Um, yeah, we'll have to do some more of these, I think. There's a, a lot to learn about our different products. Definitely, Matt. And if you want to grab yourself a new 6 Series platform, you can pop into any roof racks below. We've got 25 locations across Australia, and you can get in, we'll get you sorted, and get you on your next journey. Also, if you uh, don't happen to be in any of the major cities in Australia, uh, we do have our online store, so roofracksgalore.com.au. Uh, jump on there, search your vehicle. We've got thousands of different products, all your major brands. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to use our online chat on our website or call our web team. Super knowledgeable people and they'll definitely help you out with any questions you might have. We'll see you in the next video.